would like to welcome our dearest viewers via Nursat and Tele Lumiere, and we begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis issues a call for the cessation of fighting between Israel and Gaza. His Majesty the King directs the dispatch of urgent humanitarian and medical aid to our brothers in Gaza Strip. The patriarchs and church's leaders in Jerusalem unite in a call for peace. Jordan directs a protest memorandum against Israeli attacks on Christians in Jerusalem. The Latin Patriarchate, current act of violence, brings us back to the worst period of our modern history. The Council of Church Leaders in Jordan issues a statement of solidarity with Gaza. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis expressed his concern about the dangerous escalation in Israel and Gaza, emphasizing that violence and terrorism do not solve problems and that war always leads to defeat. He also asked the faithful to pray the rosary for the intention of peace in the world and added, I am closely following with concern and pain what is happening in the region where violence is erupting again at a rapid pace, causing hundreds of deaths and injuries. He expressed his closeness to the families of the victims and prayed for them, as well as for all those living through hours of terror and anxiety. He added, let everyone understand terrorism and war do not lead to any solutions but to the death and suffering of many innocent people. His Majesty King Abdullah II directed the urgent dispatch of humanitarian and medical aid to our Palestinian brothers in Gaza Strip. This aid will be sent through the Rafah border crossing in full and prior coordination with the Egyptian brothers. His Majesty also instructed the identification and swift provision of the required assistance to our Palestinian brothers in the West Bank. In accordance with His Majesty's directives, the Jordan Hashmai Charity Organization has commenced the preparation of urgent medical and relief aid to stand in solidarity with our brothers in Gaza Strip. The delivery of aid will be facilitated through the Rafah border crossing in coordination with the Egyptian authorities in collaboration with the Jordanian Armed Forces, the Arab Army. The organization also has announced the opening of the door to receiving in-kind and cash donations in support of our brothers in Gaza Strip through its designated account. In light of the outbreak of violent clashes in Gaza between Palestinians and Israelis, which have claimed the lives of many on both sides, the Latin Patriarchate issued a statement calling for every effort to be made to help de-escalate the situation, restore calm, and ensure the fundamental rights of both people. This statement expressed that the operation that launched from Gaza and the reaction of the Israeli army are bringing us back to the worst periods of our modern history. The many casualties will create more hatred and division and will destroy any perspective of stability. Furthermore, one-sided statements concerning the status of religious sites and places of worship stoke religious sentiments and fuel the flames of hatred and extremism. The Latin Patriarchate called for the preservation of current situation in the Holy Land, particularly in Jerusalem, and the pursuit of a permanent and comprehensive solutions in reconciliation, so that Jerusalem can be a house of prayer for all people. In the same context, the Patriarchs and Church leaders in Jerusalem issued a unified call for peace and justice in the face of ongoing violence in the region. They stated that the Holy Land is a sacred place for millions of people around the world, but is currently enduring violence and suffering due to continuous political conflict, lack of justice, and the disregard for human rights. They unequivocally condemned all acts targeting civilians, regardless of their nationality, ethnicity, or religion. Such acts contradict the fundamental principles of humanity, and the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. The patriarchs and church leaders in Jerusalem called for the cessation of all military violent activities that harm both Palestinians and Israeli civilians alike. They also urged unwavering efforts towards ending the violence and building a just and lasting peace that allows the Holy Land to be a source of hope, faith, and love for all. The Council of Church Leaders in Jordan also expressed its deep concern over the developments in Gaza, which it attributes to the marginalization, absence of justice, and equality persecution, violence, lack of peace, and communication. The Council demand from the international community to consider the just and historical Palestinian issue with fairness and balance, and to recognize the rights of the Palestinian Arab people in their land and their dignified future. He added, We, in our spiritual and national responsibility in our blessed Jordan, pledge our unwavering support under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah II, the custodian of the Hashemite Kingdom. His Majesty has consistently and prominently warned the world about the gravity of not reaching just solutions regarding the Palestinian issue, which is the central issue in the Middle East. His Majesty's cautions expressed in every international forum underscore the danger of compromising the status quo in the sacred places, especially in Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, along with all churches, shrines and monasteries. The Council implored all influential and peace-loving countries to directly intervene to stop the war, save lives, active dialogue, provide assistance to the wounded and those affected, and safeguard the right to live in equality. They offered their prayers to the compassionate God to pour His peace into the land of peace and to comfort the hearts of the afflicted in the Holy Land with His Holy Spirit.
His Eminence Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, returned safely with the help of God to the headquarters of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem. He was received by His Excellency Bishop William Shomali, the Patriarch of Vicar, along with the priests and nuns of the Patriarchate, as well as the Rosary Sisters and a group of employees working at the Patriarchate. Upon his reception at the Cathedral of the Patriarchate, everyone gathered in prayer for peace in the Holy Land due to the current circumstances prevailing in the region in general and the Holy Land in particular. Given these circumstances, the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem has decided to suspend all planned celebrations for his reception until further notice. His Eminence had previously instructed all churches of the Patriarchate in Jordan and Palestine to dedicate prayers for the intention of peace in the Holy Land, the Land of Peace. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has sent an official memorandum to the Israeli Embassy in Amman, expressing its protests against the escalating attacks on the Christian residents of occupied Jerusalem. The memorandum emphasized Israelis' obligation to refrain from any actions that would violate the sanctity of holy places and to put an end to attempts to change the historical and legal status quo in Jerusalem and its sacred sites. In a related context, the Islamic Christian Committee for the Support of Jerusalem and its Holy Sites condemned the repeated attacks by settlers against Christian pilgrims, religious figures, monks, and clergy while they are practicing the religious rituals in the city of Jerusalem. The committee further stated that these attacks have been occurring at an accelerating rate against Christians, whether they are residents or tourists. In addition to these incidents, there have been attacks on churches and religious symbols, with the most recent incident involving the defacement and vandalism of an effigy of Jesus Christ by settlers. The committee the committee emphasized that extremist Jewish organizations are actively working to undermine and destabilize the Christian presence in the city of Jerusalem. This Christian presence is an integral part of the city's Arab identity and contributes to its religious, cultural, and historical heritage. The committee called on the international community and the World Council of Churches to intervene and assume responsibility in defending the Christian presence in the Holy Land. On the occasion of the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, the Rosary Sisters in Jordan celebrated with a large divine liturgy presided over by His Excellency Bishop Jamal Khadr, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar of Jordan. The liturgy was attended by a number of Rosary Sisters and a sizable congregation of priests. During the homily of the liturgy, His Excellence called for their citation of the Rosary, which serves as a path to salvation and through which God's light shines for those who seek to see Him. As part of the celebration, the Latin scouts from Marj al Hammam parish presented a selection of musical composition and spiritual hymns, creating a sacred and faithful atmosphere. Choirs also participated in the musical performance during the liturgy. At the conclusion of the celebration, everyone gathered in the church square to offer their congratulations to the Rosary Sisters. On this occasion, the Nursat Holy Land Jordan and Palestine family, represented by its director, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, and the team, extends its warmest congratulations to the Sisters of the Holy Rosary on their feast of their patron saint. They pray that God continues to bless their mission with grace and abundant fruits through His kindness. On the occasion of the consecration anniversary of St. Sharb al Makhlouf, a divine liturgy was held at the Mar Sharb al Church in Amman. The liturgy was presided over by Father Joseph Swade, the pastor of the church, and attended by a congregation of parishioners. During the homily of the liturgy, Father Swade spoke about the suffering of people in the Holy Land amidst the ongoing security events in the region. He called on the faithful to pray for the afflicted believers. In an atmosphere of joy and celebration, the Greek Catholic school in Amman welcomed the delegation from the representatives of the French Work Association and its supporters. The school's principal warmly welcomed them, Ms. Abir Muslih, the kindergarten director, Ms. Zahia Salkawi, as well as the parish priests, Archmandrite Nader Sawuk and Archmandrite Khaled Chaban. The delegation participated in morning assembly of the school in the French language and attended a divine liturgy according to the Eastern tradition. They also took a tour of the school's classroom where introduced to the advanced projects that have been accomplished within the school. The delegation expressed their admiration for the school's high level of French language education and the care provided by school administration and teachers for the students, emphasizing the importance of instilling love for their country and others in students. We have reached the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis issues a call for the cessation of fighting between Israel and Gaza. His Majesty the King directs the dispatch of urgent humanitarian and medical aid to our brothers in Gaza Strip. The patriarchs and church's leaders in Jerusalem unite in a call for peace. Jordan directs a protest memorandum against Israeli attacks on Christians in Jerusalem. The Latin Patriarchate, current act of violence, brings us back to the worst period of our modern history. The Council of Church Leaders in Jordan issues a statement of solidarity with Gaza. For more details, please visit our website, nursacho.org. 
wishing you a pleasant time and may you be blessed with all happiness. See you soon.